wow we welcome to another runescape adventure everybody wow i'm recording this right after oops we accidentally teleported twice and we leveled up to level 51 magic oh god you gotta teleport to Ardo. oh cool Ar ardo ardon ardogni i don't know dude anyways we're about to start this episode off by doing something fan diddly tastic First of all, I gotta apologize. Last episode, freaking audio quality is so quiet. It's so weird. Like, everything looked fine. Oh, wait, where am I actually going right now? I thought it was this building here. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, the audio quality looked fine and me looking at it, like, on, on my recording software. Like, the bars were showing up as if, like, the audio was, like, decent compared to my voice. But loading the clips in, like, my, um, my editing software, it, it just didn't show up at all. Uh, or didn't, you could barely, 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 barely hear it. So I think I've, I've done a couple tests. I believe I have it all fixed up now. I, I freaking hope so, anyways. Anyways, we're gonna talk this. Hello, I'm the Bruce Capaldi. What can I do for you? Uh, tell me, get me a house. Um, sell you a house for 1,000 coins in Remington. As you increase your construction skills, we'll be able to leave your house, move to other areas, regain another stuff. You wanna buy a star house? Hell yeah, dog! Uh, thank you. Go to the Remington house port and you'll find your house ready to start building it. Uh, the book will help you start building your house. <laughs> Garbage. Well, maybe, maybe I'll. I'm not gonna leave later on. Uh, wow, that's actually... I wonder how many pages is this? I gotta know. God, 14. Sitting, sitting years. Sitting tired. Okay, we're, I will see you guys at my house in a uno momento. And now for my next favorite trick. Teleporting directly to my house. Well, it work? Okay, good. It does work. I was already this one work. Oh, this weird music. Um, here's the house. <laughs> Wow, amazing. So anyways, this is the construction skill. Um, you start it by buying it. This is actually an extremely useful skill. It's been very hard to play this game without it. I don't know why it's taking me so long to start it for it. Well, it's extremely expensive, and I don't know how much I'm going to actually be able to do. But there's, like, things that you can, like, teleport. I mean, they're mostly teleport. There's, like, a bunch of, like, uh, uh, where, where is it? Skills? Wait, rooms. There should be, like, a teleport room or something. Uh, portal channel. That's all 50. Jesus, that's probably gonna cost a lot of money that I won't be able to get. But, uh, huh, builder's mode. If you go back in here like this, I don't recognize that song. That's a weird song. You build trees and stuff. I don't know if you actually chop them down. I kind of think so and get like stuff from them. You can, like, you just build, you, know, you can't really customize stuff too much. As you can probably see, you can only customize so much. Like, there's white spots here. But it is actually a really cool skill, and I do think it's really, uh, I think it's really fun, to be honest. So we're gonna go buy a bunch of planks and nails and junk, and we're gonna, we're gonna level this up a little bit until I, I don't know, maybe I'll use, like, 200,000 gold on it or something. Just, just to get it started, and just to see... I'm, I'm really, I, I want to level this up a little bit. So let's, let's see how much money you can sink into this. All right, little guide thing I used, recommended from levels one to 33, which is the first kind of bulk of it. I buy 400 steel nails, gaudy, got those for 14,000 gold. Um, 166 regular planks, gaudy for almost 50,000, got to be really expensive I thought. And <coughs> 452 oak planks. I only bought 250 because I only wanted to go down to around $500,000 in cash. So, uh, we're just gonna have to, uh, see where that gets us. It's not gonna get us very far, but it'll, it's better than nothing. I mean, like I said, I just want to, uh, I wanted to start this out first and, uh, see how far we can get, and then we'll worry. We'll, worry, we'll actually worry about the money and training it up more later. I just kind of wanted to get a start on it. And now the training begins. This is new. You can now teleport outside of the thing, which is cool. I didn't know that was a thing. So here's the outside. Oh my god, that guy's a hammer. And apparently there's a guy we could talk. Oh, he's right here. Freaking file ass dude. Uh, five coins? I didn't know you need money. God dang it. Uh, I am an idiot. Uh, oh, oh. Hell yeah. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I bought these all those bank notes. Uh, builder's mode. Yeah, there we go. And then we can, um, hey, hey, can I get this build? And please work? Okay, cool. Oh, you can even hit the one key. Oh, snap. I don't know how long this is gonna take. Wow, that was almost a level. And then remove. What? Oh. 
<laughs> we had to run to the front, apparently. And here's level two construction. Here's a jingle you can hopefully hear. Wonderful. We can now bu build torn curtains. That's right, pre-torn. It's like the pre-torn jeans and brown wogs. Wogs. Um, all right, well, what? There you go, it's another level, level three. All right, and you can now build a clay fireplace. All right, well, this is gonna be my life for a bit. So I'm just gonna freaking remove this, then build, and then mash the one button, and another level, perhaps? No, and then remove, yes. And uh, this is gonna be my life for a little bit. So we'll see you once I get level five. Wooden bookcases, wonderful. Level five! Can I build a kitchen? Hell yeah. Can I build fire pit, tree decorative rock, cat blanket? Level seven? Pump and drain beer barrel. We'll build more rooms as time goes on, but for now I'm just gonna kinda train it. Especially because one thing I regretted when I did this, when I played this game initially, was um, I kind of just willy-nilly threw my rooms everywhere when I really should have planned it out a bit more. Since there's definitely more rooms you want to have really close to your like portal thing over here, just because a lot of times you're gonna run, you're not gonna like, you're not gonna want to go to a kitchen or anything. You normally when you run to these, when you run to your house, you're like either going to like portals or you're going to oh, level eight, or you're going, you gotta build a wooden chair. Do I not want to build that instead? Wait, no. Um. Or your, specifically your altar and also another room that has like a amulet of glory, like a permanent amulet of glory in it. Oh goody, I could actually just build it right for that. Oh goody. So I'm going to try and figure out a way to design this without wanting to die. So uh, I will do that and I will also, even though like this chair is higher level and it requires three planks to this one requiring two, it gives the exact same experience per plank. So there's no really like advantage in like training stuff or building higher level stuff, which is kind of weird to be honest. You think that it would be level nine? I wonder why there isn't. A little wooden larger. Level 10. Landstone mine. You can now build a dining room. You can now build one dining bench, one dining table. Nice tree and fun. Nashy, dude, that's a nice tree you got there. Level 15. You can build four. You have built a house four rooms wide and long. You can now build a workshop. The thing that's kind of weirding me out a little bit, you can also build a repair <laughs> bench, tool store, one oak tree, imp statue. This is also weirding me out. How small you see like this green, like on the mini map here, the green area. I remember that, that's like supposed to be much bigger. And I have no idea if there, you could just upgrade that somehow. Or, hey, you also had a total level of 1050. I'm glad I noticed that. 19. Oak chair. Why do I have so many extra planks for? I shouldn't have this many. I could build old freaking that's all I'm supposed to build right now, but it's, what the hell, dude? Level 20! You can now build a bedroom. You can now build a wooden bed and shoebox. A shoebox? What? 25! You can now build a hall skill trophies. I think you can actually, that's where you put your glory at. So I think that's actually a pretty good room to build. You can now build a craft table 2, tool store 2, oak clock. Clock? Oak clock. Oak cock. 26. I build oak armchair, green man's ale, uh, the, the rope bell pole. 32. I build a combat room. Now I build an oak kitchen table, oak work bench, and a boxing wing. A boxing ring? 33. Now I build stone fireplace, oak larder, cushioned cat baskets. Okay, uh, funny thing. Um, this guy told me I need 452 oak planks. I was only able to afford 250 to get to level, th this is all to get to level 33. Um, this guy kind of fucking sucks because I just got to 33 with like half the planks he said you have to get used to get to 50 or 33. So, shout out to uh, the Oat Ricks. O-S-R-S -S on YouTube. Uh, your guy kind of sucks, dude. Alright, figure out. I also try a couple of other new things. So, 
over the course of a little while, whenever you kill monsters, most monsters have a chance of dropping a clue scroll, which uh, give you cryptic hints to uh, where to find treasure. It's a treasure trail is what they are. And uh, I got an easy clue, a medium, a hard, and an elite. Each of these, like, normally low-level monsters drop the easier, medium drop the medium, hard, you know, higher level, and then elite are the hardest in the game. I don't really know where I got this elite from, not gonna lie. I don't really remember. Um, normally, okay, talk to the barber in Fowler or Barbershop. Uh, this side thing over here doesn't normally appear. I think that has to do with the roommate client I'm using. Um, but, oh, but there's even an arrow? Are you kidding me? Holy crap, dude. Solution, hairdresser can be found in the barbershop. Oh, okay, uh, what do you, what do you say for me, Mr. Hairdresser? I've been given another clue. Did I even read it? God damn, I didn't even freaking read it. Oh, and then there's a map here, which is actually very close to, uh, where we are right now. That is, um, alright. Here we are. Wow, this really does make these very easy, doesn't it? You found another clue. So we can only have one of these of the same genre at a time. So even though we have four, you know, I'll we'll have one easy, one medium, one hard, and one elite. Search at wheelbarrow and Remington. Wow, these are all so close to each other. What you go for me? Normally these actually, these easy ones don't have many steps. So we're probably actually maybe going to get the word for the next one. Search chest on Duke of Lumbridge's bedroom. Wow, these are all so easily teleported to. Feels good, man. Feels good. And... I don't have the key to open the chest. What? Oh, <laughs> I'm in the wrong room. <laughs> uh, good lord. Oh, here. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah, that is the Duke. Give it a casket. There we go. First reward. <laughs> oh, wait. So did, okay, that's actually... I mean, it's pretty bad to be honest, but um, 10,000, it's worth around 10,000 gold, which isn't too bad, I guess, because of this. No? The black pig has worth 10,000 gold? Why? That's weird. Uh, this anagram reveals where to speak to next. Armchair the Pelt. That's Charlie the Tramp south of uh, the entrance of Varrock. Hello, Charlie. I have a question for you. Been given a challenge scroll, you say. How many coins would I have? I have zero coins to attempt to buy ten loaves of bread for three coins each. What? <laughs> Please answer the question. Uh, probably zero still. Correct. Thanks, Luigi. That that was some two hundred IQ stuff. I don't know. How I figured that out. Yeah, I'm gonna speak to next. Sir K. Creator of. Cam oh, Camelot. Wow, I actually almost went to uh, Fowler. I thought that was Fowler. I have a question for you. All right. No oh, challenge goal. Uh, how many fountains are there within the grounds of Camelot? Cam well, we could do that, or we could look at that. It says six. Good. We figured it out because we're geniuses. Kind of takes the fun out of it a little bit, I know, but you know, efficiency and whatnot. It's giving me another clue scroll. App clue. Wow. It just it even knows before I open it. Oh, where's this at? I'm actually not sure where that is. I think that's new. Click the clue scroll along the edge of your old map this year destination travel destination digital the marked tile. Where that at? Let's say do I click the Oh my god, dude, that's once again right by Remington. Wow. And skip it to that bam. Jump for joy, you know, bang. Dance a jig before you talk to me. Equip the brown apron, adamant adamantite, medium helmet, and snakeskin chaps. Oh god, so this is the first of many uh, clues that require you to wear a certain set of stuff. Which means I gotta go, uh... Uh, the Fweep. <laughs> what is the Fweep? <laughs> which means I gotta go buy a bunch of garbage. I may look like a normal Chris now. What we don't know is I'm gonna equip the wrong thing. And now... <laughs> it's time to jump for- Oh cool, it even labels which one to do first! Okay, and then jig? A casket! We're done! Once I was a poor man, but then I found a party hat! What? I have a party hat too, except it's not worth a whole lot. Uh, ooh, this might be- No, it's not worth anything. It's not worth shit. God damn it. <laughs> I got full green d height. Well, not even, actually. Alright, well, that was the medium. This one's- It's not even worth that much, man. These, these are normal custom teleports. Uh, scroll things are only worth quite a bit, but not to, this is actually the first time I've ever been to Yanel as well, which is a uh, small town. 
It's not the only cool thing here really is the uh, magic guild, which you need 66 magic to into, so I'm nowhere near that, and that's where it is in relation to everything else. The biggest city is like Ordon right here, so it's south of that. Uh, anyways, we'll try the hard one. This is I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this one to be honest. Uh child fairy ring and oh shit and dig. That probably means someone's going to attack me, which is, uh, might not go very well, but we'll see what happens! He's a little snowy here. Where am I? Ah, we're by Relica. Here's a Slayer... This one? Oh. Here's a Slayer cave I'm often at. Uh, I might get attacked here. I wasn't. Okay, good. I was really scared because the things that attack you sometimes are really strong. Chair at the top of the Agility Pyramid? Oh, God. We are double agents. Okay, yeah. It's equipped a blue mystic robe. Top and any rune heraldic shields? Oh, God. So this is the Agility Pyramid. I hated this a lot as a kid because it was surprisingly very difficult. I don't remember what level you unlock this at. Pretty low. I think it was like level 20 or 30 or something. And obviously, it's like you really are just going up a pyramid, so even though it looks like there's nothing here, there, there is. It just, it just looks like there there isn't because the rest of the stupid thing doesn't load. I gotta go to the top. I should probably double check that. I gotta go to the top of this, right? At the top of the agility pyramid, okay. Okay! So I'll just kind of zoom on through. Maybe I'll, let's fast forward through this so you guys get a look see at this. Because this will probably be the only time I've ever. Please don't fall off, dude. Thank God. The first layers, like obviously, you know, the first layer is the biggest one, and you know, the higher up you go, the you can't climb that. By the way, yeah, I can't reach you. Sure you can, you dang dang, or you could do it. Oh my god, that felt like it took forever. Alright. Oh, I didn't bring a prayer pot. I don't want me to do cheer. This might end very badly. Twelve. Okay. We just, we just gonna do that. Ew. That wasn't that close, but that still kinda of spooked me a little bit. Sneezes what? What? I mean, oh, it only says find yourself in that. Boo! Uh, well, we already uh, did this one. Uh, the clue. Bell Raspberry in the Fishing Guild Bank. Welp. Fishing Guild is unlocked to level 66. Fishing. So we got close, <laughs> but... How many steps? Have you already done to to Elemental Shield? That's another quest we have not done yet to unlock that. Blue Dragon Eye Chaps and Rune Wool Hamel. Um, how many steps do we do? Three, okay. There's another one, I think, like five ish. I, I, I'm kind of making that up. I don't know exactly. I feel like it's around five, five to eight. Yeah, that's not gonna, that's just gonna sit in my bank for a long time. I could just drop it, but also, I do have this elite clue, but I'm not gonna do it. Um,. Uh, let's hope you don't meet a watery death when you kind of this fiend. So let's just kill a water fiend. Uh, those things are like really strong, and I'm not at a point in this account where I mean I could probably kill if I tried really hard, but it's probably honestly not worth it. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother trying for now. Forty six range. You can I use adamant crossbows and adamant crossbow bolts? 50 range! You can have the magic bows, hunter's crossbows, and negative blue dragon hide armor. Hell yeah! It's about damn time! So there's essentially four levels of dragon hide in this game. There's green, which is obviously the weakest, and there's blue, which is also pretty weak, and red, that's also, also pretty weak. <clears throat> but then there's black, which is kind of like the standard, and it's pretty good, but... Uh, so 40's green, 50's blue, 60's red, and finally 70's black, so... I'm gonna immediately go grab that because also like in addition to this being better like uh, armor it uh, also increases your range strength so I'm fucking praying please 
please let me <laughs> kill things faster with it, because as you can tell, it's taking forever to kill these things. To see the difference, please be big. I'm actually not sure how good this is going to be. All right, so I'm going to look at this range plus 96. Let's see how big that goes up. 101. 104. <laughs> not as big as the jump that. Oh, God. 94 to 106. I mean, it's all right. There's also no blue dragon hide hat or, like, shoes or why I'm still wearing this thing. So it's kind of weird. You'd think they would make, like, some kind of, like, you know, like... Like a, like a tunic, like a hat kind of, like the snake skin, except that picture kind of like a hood kind of, you know? Same with the boots. I don't know why there isn't. It really kind of should be, in my opinion. But, um, not as big of a jump as I was honestly hoping for, but I'll take it. 51! Oh, shit. I forgot the sounds. They're really loud. It's really weird. They're really quiet when I record, but they're really... Oh, shit. I'm lagging. Okay, I'm not lagging anymore. 51 range! Anyways, I, this is literally, like... That, I, my slaughter task was done, but I was like, I'm literally only one away from getting 51 range, so I decided to stick around and get the last one. We got six range levels, ranging levels from that. That was that was pretty good. That's actually really helpful. We have blue dragon height now. That will be very nice. Who has 10,000 minutes to the other level? It's me! 63 strength. Two more left to go. Also, 1075 uh, total level, which is pretty neat -o burrito. Like two minutes later, 57 slayer! Got killed muted zygomites. I got a story with those. I remember, uh, I, at level 70 attack, you unlock a weapon called an Abyssal Whip, which is one of the best training weapons in the game. And it costs a lot of money. I don't remember how much it bought for. It was like over a million, uh, gold coins GP. Um, and, um, I died to those guys. Or at least I thought I did. My, uh, my internet disconnected. So, like, everything stopped and it's like did, did, did it log me out did i die and they're kind of strong i think i don't think that's strong but anyways i remember crying and like screaming and my dad was like what's wrong like i have this thing i haven't saved up for, for so long i just lost it and I, like, I only had it, like a week at a time so i was so sad and mad and yeah it was not uh <laughs> it was not a happy uh it was not a happy time for me, but I did not die, thank god. I think I don't even think I was that close to dying actually when I was able to log back in after the internet and save lives again. So this has been story time with Chris. 61 hit points and 74 combat level as well. Cool. Oh, I also got another medium scroll. I'm gonna do it off screen though, and I'll just show the rewards. It's already showed one, unless we got like a cool unique puzzle I've never seen before. Wow, an entire 24 tiers. I have more quest points now, and last time I got 35. The more quest points you have, the longer you get to stay in there. 1200! 200 levels! I mean, sure, I'll take it. That, that sucks. <sighs> hey! I got a leaf bladed sword thing. I've already, I already bought one, but these have a 150 chance of dropping this sword and I've killed around a hundred so I'm around the drop rate. They see first range. Jeez, that took much longer than I thought it was gonna take. One more to 65 and I can start a chain attack. I actually trained a bit since my recording software wasn't set up. I didn't feel like it so these guys drop a lot of good stuff. I also got a uh snape dragon which is worth fifty thousand so that's worth even more than the sword. I got some ranars which are worth seven thousand eight hundred so yeah, these actually make some real good money. I'm probably gonna do a price check after this and show you guys how much I made for this task once I'm finished it up and 76 more kills. All right, I was able to finish the trip. I killed approximately 80 Taros. I have 51 left to kill. And look at this. I was up there for like maybe an hour, an hour and a half. 166,000 gold. That's pretty damn good to be honest. Oh my God, I just got a second one. These, this is only supposed to drop 150. I've gotten two in the past, like, like, not even a hundred kills. Jeez, dude, that's like, crazy. Too bad it's not something, like, insanely expensive, like, 40,000 gold. That's pretty good, but, you know, there's a lot of other, there's a lot of other monsters out there that drop really good stuff that probably using all my good RNG up on this now, so, man, well, uh, hey, hey, I shouldn't complain. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy I'm getting this. I desperately need the money, so it's really good to see. Whoa! Why, what? I didn't even really drop this! 47,000, like, what the hell? In the middle of me talking about? All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, RuneScape gods up above. I, I, uh, I, I thank you. <laughs> 
Uh, this is what the uh, second run ended up being. Worth 132,000, that's really good as well. <laughs> but uh, at this point, this I don't know how long this video is. It's probably very long, I'm sorry. I'm gonna end it here, thank you very much for watching. Oh, also, I'm 34 experience away from Agilio. I gotta go find a spot to, wait, I think I can. Hold on a minute, I think I actually, I think I got experience if I go through this tunnel over here. Let's, let's do that a couple times, let's see if we get a level. Well, I tried like three different things and nothing gave me experience, so I decided to come to the course and get this final experience level. It's 54, and I'll use the Motherload Mine Dark Tunnel Shortcut. I've never done the Motherload Mine, that's a newer update. But yeah, next time I'll definitely get 65 strength, and actually we'll probably do Achievement Diaries. To be honest, I really want to start doing these Achievement Diaries because you get really good rewards out of them. So I will definitely, uh, I'll definitely be checking that out. Um, yep, yeah, this is Chris signing out. Uh, bye.